What is up, YouTubers? It's Mushroom, and here we have something called Mega Blocks SpongeBob SquarePants by Nickelodeon. And yes, Series 1, part of the uh, Mega Blocks uh, competitive uh, mini minifigure series that is uh, to go up against Legos. And uh, this is pretty awesome. So. This is a case. I didn't buy a whole case, but this is the case that I uh, that I picked up. Um, well, I actually did buy a case, <laughs> but only because I wanted to find a full set, and I was able to find only one set. And the reason is there are eight figures in the in uh, the full set for the first series. However, unlike Lego, um, Mega Blocks actually gives you uh, like commons, rares. Super rares and mystery rares, secret rares. So, this again here is common. Okay, these right here are uh, rare. These right here are extremely super rares, and this or ultra rare. And this one is a uh, what you call it? Secret rare. So you don't know what it is, but it's rare. <laughs> now, after opening a case, I found out that. These are about like five to six each case. So, so there's five, five, maybe there's six. I, I, I don't know. No, there's like four to five each in each case. These, there's like two in each case. There's like three in this case. And there's only one and one. So, those are the ratios. Now, the numbers are, uh, are the other thing. So, Unlike uh, Lego minifigures uh, with bump codes, these actually have number codes. And as you can barely, barely see, I don't know if you can tell that. It says, right there it says A18. And right there, see? A1806, uh, I think it says 4C and something. Alright? So, just so we're clear, we're not going to need the rest of the numbers. We only need the first three. Okay, and it's not really the first, actually. We just need the second and the third number. So, this one's number 18. Alright. Let's see. This one right here is number 20. I'm going to put them in order so we have, um, so we, we can open up in order. Okay. This one right here is number 24. Okay. Sorry, you can't really see. Um, they, the, the, the imprints are very, very light. So, this is 25. Okay. And this one right here is number 17. So, we'll put that right, right there. Right here, we have uh, number 23. So, that's going to go in front of this one. Then right here we have number, I believe, 19, 17, 18, 19. And the last one in the 8 series set is number 16. Alright, so there you have it. There we have our 8 figures. Now, I'm going to move this box over here. You can, <laughs> you can see uh, Spongebob right there. Okay. And then let's start opening these up, okay? So this one, this pack right here is, again, um, this pack right here, again, is number 16. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Now, first one up is, uh, let's, actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. So as you can see, uh, we get a little book pamphlet or pamphlet poster, a fold out that has a checklist. All right. So we have a uh, nerdy SpongeBob. We have Surfish. We have Caveman uh, Squidward. We have uh, Jailfish. We have Stranglefish, I think it's Stranglefish. We have uh, Karate, Spongebob, Cowboy Patrick, and then we have Secret Spongebob, okay? 
So let's open this up. Let's uh, build this up real quick. So the blue star means that these are rare. So as you can see already, this one's a rare because we have the little paddles and it's karate. Spongebob. Alright, so now looking at the, the detail on this guy, well let's 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 put them together real quick. So it's pretty cool how they set this up. You you put the uh, little plug in there and you get his eyeballs in. Uh, and you push them really hard in there, right? I like these a little bit better than I do uh, minifigures for for actual for change. Um, so look, then you have like his little torso. Uh, and the reason I like them better is because they're not so blocky. They actually have a, a shape and form and, and purpose, so to speak. So then we put his tiny little feet in, you know? Um, and they're unique. They're not all the same cookie cutter shape with just different tabos. So I don't know. I kind of like that, you know? Kind of like that these are custom, uh, these are custom, um, molds and stuff. So and then you push the arm in. It's like a little ball socket. So you have a little bit more, uh, articulation than you do on a minifigure, which is really cool. Um, and then let's put him... Ah, Alright, so... Okay. So that's pretty awesome. Let's put his little... Uh, well, let's put his little helmet on. Alright. Dun, dun, dun. Alright. And then, we'll give him his... Um, his little paddle. And now he is ready to battle. Right? Okay. So let's, uh, and then, like uh, all of these uh, competitive minifigures and whatnot, they all have the compatible uh, Lego setup. So you can use this with Lego. You can actually use this with a SpongeBob Lego kit. Personally, I think you'd like these better than the Lego SpongeBob, but that's just me. So. Um, alright, so that's figure number one. This is number 16. 16 is rare, as you see by the blue star. Alright, let's go on to the next one. This is number 17, and number 17 is... Dun, 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 dun. It looks like it's Stranglefish. So let's put our little uh, thing over there. Alright, so Stranglefish, huh? He's got that ha ha kind of look on his face. Let's put him on his body. Kind of look. He's got that like evil uh, twisty, um, twisty uh, mustache. All right, and then let's put his um, his le his torso on. It's pretty awesome. Um, I like these guys so far. I, I really, really think they're awesome figures. Now, um, I think that they did this series because, um, I don't know if you are, if any of you guys are fans of Spongebob Squarepants, but, um, he's coming out with a new movie, or they're coming out with a new movie, and the new movie is, I think it's called, uh, Sponge Out of Water or something like that, but it's coming out in February 2015, and it's animated as, as Spongebob Squarepants is, but then there's a big part of the movie that's actually live action. Um, if you if you go see the trailer you'll you'll see that it's pretty amazing. So there's his little moat carton. Ha ha Yeah <laughs> Alright so whoops. So he's also a rare one too. Okay? So so far sixteen and seventeen are rare. Let's go to number eighteen. All right. Oh wow. Number 18 is actually the super rare. And to be honest with you, look, so check it out. I, that was weird. Super rare actually came with a smaller smaller thing. That's weird. How come this one came with 
How come the first one came with this big, and now they come... I, I don't know. Maybe this is a later release. Who knows? But this is super rare because this is Cowboy Patrick. Okay, so let's... Let's put our little her or uh, Cowboy Patrick together, and uh, let's see. He's pretty cool too. He's actually very cool. So you have a choice with Cowboy Patrick. You can actually um, have him wear a hat. You know. Well, let's 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 have him wear his hat real quick. Okay, and put his arms on. All right. And then we gotta put his little uh, starfish legs on. He's got stubby nubbies. <laughs> so here he goes. He's like, hey, hey, do. Uh. So there he is. So you can even have his hat on, or you can take it off, put it on his back, like like he wears it like a backpack, and then actually put the top of his uh, starfish head on. So you can go either way. All right, and just like whoops, let's see. So just just word to the wise, you uh, put on you put on his uh, starfish tip of his head. It will be very hard to take off. Okay, so let's let's just put it on his back. Yeah, little nubby nubby. All right, cool. Let's put him on his thing. So not only that, um, not only is he rare, but he also comes with an accessory, and it's a barrel. So that's pretty cool. One thing I really like is I really, 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 really am digging these um, clear blue uh, Lego pieces or blocks because they kind of remind me of the ocean, obviously, because these these characters are from the ocean. But I think it's pretty cool that. That uh, Mega Blocks actually did blue, clear blue bricks. All right. So so far we've opened opened up three of the rarest packed uh, figures. So here we go with uh, figure number 19. All right. So that 16, 17, and 18 are all rare. Just so we're making sure. Yep. 18. Yep. 16, 17, and 18. Alright, so number 19 is actually a not rare, okay? 19 is, let's see. Oh, 19 is jailfish. So jailfish is also small too, so let's see. And he's got his like prison jail suit on, that's pretty cool. He's got that, meh, don't bother me. Um, look on his face. Let's put his torso on, and then let's put his feet on. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. I really like these little guys. I mean, it's a cool little set to have if you if you collect Lego figures or minifigures of any kind, you know? Um, put his little, like, on his head. His fin. Because he is a fish. Remember that. Alright. Let's put that there. So yeah. They did a pretty awesome job with uh, figuring out how do we make Spongebob Squarepants. But on the Mega Bloks. Uh, in the Mega Box fashion. So, And that's his uh, turkey leg. I think. Drumstick or... No, it's not a drumstick. <laughs> I'm hungry. No, this is... I, I don't know. If you guys watch the show... I watch the show, but I don't remember this guy. So, what is that? Uh, let me know. So, he's not rare. He's actually a common one. So, we finally found a common. This is number 20. Let's see what number 20 is. Alright, 20 is Squidward. Squidward comes with a small um, pamphlet as well. Let's put him together. Caveman Squidward. Oops, ouch. Okay, so he's on. As you can see. 
Now, Squidward doesn't have feet. And he has these, like, weird little, uh, squid leg tentacle thingies, okay? So that's pretty awesome. Let's put his, whoops. Let us put his arms on. Arms going on. Whoops. And it's, I think it's kind of cool that, um, unlike, unlike Legos, where you really just have to put the, uh, upper body and, uh, legs on, and head, and then whatever accessories, with Mega Bloks, you actually have to put everything together, arms, legs, torso, um, you name it, you gotta do it, so, it's kind of cool because it's, it means it's more of a build, it actually is a build set, and he has a, f a little bone. So, he's a common figure too. But it's kind of cool because he's a little more, he's different and all that stuff. So, alright. We got pack number six. Pack number six is, let's see, what number is that? 20, it's not 21, I know that. It is 20, whoops, that's not the right pack. Because that was pack 20, and this is going to be pack. Let me see. 23. So it jumps from 20 to 23. Just FYI. Okay. Alright. And then let's put that out there right there. Oh, cool. So this is nerdy. Okay, so I guess with the SpongeBob figures, they give you the full size thing. But with the other figures, they give you the small size thing. So here we have. Check him out. It's nerdy. SpongeBob. You know how you know he's nerdy? Cause look at his uh, his four eyes. Pretty funny, huh? Let's put on his um his little pants. Da -da -da -da. So uh, cool thing, cool little thing uh, to point out about nerdy SpongeBob. So if you went to New York Comic Con, uh, Mega Bloks's booth was giving away free. Comic Con, New York Comic Con exclusive, um, meaning only available at Comic Con, New York Comic Con, nowhere else. Uh, SpongeBob, nerdy SpongeBob minifigures, individually packaged with a logo. I'll have a video for that later because I have a, I have a couple coming to me. So you you uh, basically get a nerdy SpongeBob just like this, exactly like this. Okay. The only difference is, it's the same exact figure. The only difference is, is that he's got blue pants instead of brown pants. As you can see, he's got brown pants right here. So, why won't I focus? The other thing is, um, Nerdy SpongeBob has an apple. Now, okay, I want to point something out. Many figures tend to... Uh, when they have an accessory that they're holding, you have to stick it on top of the the little hand. Mega Bloks doesn't actually give you uh, an option to do that. So what they do instead is they actually give you little hand holds. So he's actually holding the apple like properly, just like he's holding the milk carton like that, you know. So that's pretty awesome, I have to say. I mean, I love Legos, don't get me wrong, but Mega Bloks did a pretty bang-up job with these figures. I have to say, it's really, 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 they did a really good job, so I'm pretty uh, stoked about that. Now, these are $2.99 at Tower. Uh, however, these were not too easy to find. I've, I've been going to a bunch of different towers, and they've been uh, kind of pretty hard to find. Um, every tower I've gone to, they're sold out. So tonight I was lucky and I found a place that's, that had them. Um, here we have Surfer Fish. And uh, let's let's put them together. So there we go. There's Surfer Fish. Now weird thing about this Mega Bloc is that he's all dirty and nasty. That's kind of weird. You know? I wonder if Mega Bloc has a better uh, customer service uh, thing than stupid 
Funko does, because let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna write to them and see if they say if, if they'll actually uh, replace this. Because if you as you can see, he's discolored right here. Looks like he was rolling around in the dirty. It has no kind of sheen. Whoops. He has no sheen to him. It's like irregular sheen. Like it's shiny down here, but it's abrasive right here. And he's got discoloring right here. So that's kind of that's kind of whack. Um, let's put his feet on. Let's put his feet on. All right, feet on. And then we'll put we'll put his little uh, fishy arms on. Fishy arms on. Surfer fish. Uh, what's up, dudes? And then we'll put him on his little surfboard, and he's like, "What up, bro? Yeah." All right, so then, uh, oh, and then you can actually mount him on the block. So, very awesome job, guys, over at Mega Blocks. I really like these. I mean, outside of the, the discoloration and the damaged uh, goods right out of the bag, if this was perfect, it'd be awesome. Okay, so let's put him down there, too. All right, and my last but very not least, here is the very super secret rare... SpongeBob, and how do I know that? Because this is number eight, and there's only eight, and I haven't gotten him yet. So here he is, rare, rare, rare. Can okay, he's all the SpongeBob's get a big full size thing? So here he is, dun dun dun. Woo! Where's his eyeballs? Where's his eyeballs? Does it matter? Oh, how do we put his eyeballs in? So, oh, his eyeballs are kind of. Is it this way? Or is it this way? I don't think it really matters. Let's try it out. Woo! <laughs> uh, and uh, the funniest thing is, check it out. He is in his underpants. He's in his tidy whities What? So let's... <laughs> that's probably why he's like, whoops. Um, and then, here's another funny thing. He is... So not only is so here's the funny thing. He's in his underwear and everything, right? But why is he wearing um, sleeves? So you know why does he have a t-shirt on if he's in his underwear? Um, I don't know. So whatever. <laughs> it, it, you know I think it would have been better if it was all yellow, just to like you know give the idea that he really does not have any uh, top clothes on or whatever. You know. Just his underwear. But in any event, he has his pineapple. His pineapple accessory. And again, he gets to hold it like a regular uh, person would. You know, ooh, you want my pineapple? Alright. So, there you have it. The super rare, or I'm sorry, the secret rare. SpongeBob, SquarePants, Tidy Whitey Butt Hugger. Underwear wearing minifigure. <laughs> so what? Do, oh, whoops. So what do I think about these guys? Well, I really like them. I really, really like them, and I hope they continue to make more figures, more series. So, anyways, there you have it. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna separate our rares, our rare ones, like this. Okay? And then I'm going to put the common ones all around them. Okay? Alright. Let's take our group picture. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, and anyways, hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Questions and comments down below. Um, once again, I found these at Target. I've only seen them at Target, so I don't know where else they might be. Two ninety nine. So if you see them for more, don't pay that much. Just go to Target, get them for cheaper. All right. Questions and comments down below, and we'll see you at the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I will have more SpongeBob stuff. They have a really cool um, play set that I want to build for you guys, and it, it is consisting of a all 
crystal clear blue brick car. Alright? Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.